Hey everyone, it's Sophie's here today with a fun Smith Ezreal burn deck with Dreadway as well in the Gangplank. I just really like this archetype. I think it's really funny. The amount of <laughs> damage you can deal with the burn is hilarious. My ignitions for my Ballistic Bot one game were doing six damage a piece, which was pretty hilarious. So I hope you enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get on to the games. Ballistic Bot Black Market Merchant seems good. We'll get rid of the other two. Gonna be a tough matchup against the Masi. I'm really going to have to burn them out. Which is always a bit too bad. Yeah, if they play a hot carry off Thermo Beam, which I would not hesitate to use. Oh, Maker Rain's really nice too. Okay, this is making me feel a little bit better. Even more so if they don't have anything else to play here. Alright. I'm feeling okay! It's really them getting ahead on board early that scares me more so too, so I'm not gonna play Thorough Beam on this. I don't really feel like getting sharp sighted and blown out completely. It's not really my jam. Let that go. And let's do this. Ooh, that's nasty. Quite disgusting. I could just attack with a black market merchant, honestly, and just try to pull that block. Might be worth it. Dang. Let's see what they do here. Sure. I think I'd rather just do this. Or would I rather use more mana here? I think I'll, I'll bink the mana. And obviously it always hits. Like, yeah, they heal back up, but eh. And I can just Thermo Beam too. And that does seem worth it. It's a lot of resources still though. Oh no, I could just static. I'll say I'll save the mana because even if they use uh, sharp sight here, it's not that big of a deal. And I can technically counter with a repost or now the Mystic Shot too. Let's do uh, you second, you first, and I'm okay with uh, I'm okay with this going through. I'd rather try to kill this and keep my ballistic bot alive, but I'm not feeling bad here. Nice. So probably no sharp sight. It's not a hundred percent sure, but. Makes the chances go up pretty significantly, I would say. Gangplank, you four out of five. Can I just get a nice gangplank here? Unfortunately not. Play Ballistic Bot first. I actually think it's a uh, zap. Zap, maybe a time trick. It's crazy how... Uh, much this is going to counter it. Even more so now, when I had this stupid make it rain to counter any of their barriers. Things I don't care about. Yeah, that's definitely on the list. <laughs> definitely on the list of things I don't care about. Might be another bot. With me. Feel really sad this make it rain mist. No way it ever would, right? They just take a second one and be like, alright, like if I miss. I like the harpoon here a lot though, and even if this does die, 
It's not that bad. Of course, we freaking miss. Let's go. I love missing these. I love missing 75 percenters, don't you? I love missing 75 percenters. Syncopation. Didn't really expect that, but it's fine. Alright, so I will... I will find a... A Gangplank or an Ezreal here, that's right. Not quite. So... We have Thermo and... Monster Harpoon, it's not that bad. Yeah, I just... I'm just not okay with that. Just, it's it's a no from me. And then we can repost this. So I guess we're thermoing that. And then we let this go. I think that has to be the case. We only have one card left. I still think we got this. That would be really cool though. If I could draw a card called Ezreal. There we go. Die, Jarvan, die. Die, Jarvan, die. Die, Jarvan, die. Die, die, die. That's fine. Alright, that means I don't get to block my Ezreal, but... It does mean Jarvan's leveled. That means we have to open attack with Ezreal. And that sucks. I should probably play the Blisk bot first. I mean... If this is a single though, Jarvan dies. So, not that bad. Concerted? Alright, that that's much worse. That feels a bit bad, but they're down to top decks. There's no way they top deck the answers. There's just no way. Nice. Break their spirits and their souls. Go with the Try to find the more answers that we can. Double time trick. We always find the answer. Always. Okay, well you're the game finisher that we've been waiting for. Nine out of five. And you were supposed to be a mystic shot early, but um that that works. Alright, which one did you even pull? Okay. Well, I can't miss the make it rain this time. So that's good. <laughs> that's a big plus. We take those. Alright, well, we've won the game now, so that's good. Now they must wait for their slow but very steady death. Alright. Zap into the time trick is a really. It's a really neat one. Wow, good job, Dreadway. We've been super useful this whole time. Well, one against the tier one deck, so we always take those. Assuming that I block here. Imagine if I just didn't block here. Be kind of funny. Just kill them with dots. Another dot. Can you 
guess we'll just take the open next turn. There's no way of stopping it. Or I could do dot kills. I'll just take the open. Dot kill's kind of funny, though. I mean, even Judgment just doesn't do anything here. It's the sad part. A single combat. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Trundle Brom. Go ahead and get rid of these. Got Ezreal. Harpoon's pretty okay. Funsmith isn't really good until later. I don't really know what to expect. This Thermobeam's actually an okay card against Brom. Overall, though. Don't know, my deck is good enough against this or not. It depends how much healing they're running. I don't know if they're running. They could be running a star. Thingy. Star Spring. Alright, I guess I'll drop the Ezreal on three. Okay. Alright, Ezreal, do some work. Zero out of six. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I think I actually go for the weirding stones more so. They're actually a bit more scary. I'm gonna use one of the thermo beams on it. Cause I have two, so might as well try to avoid them from ramping and getting a trundle out that I really don't wanna see right now. So, we'll see. Let us get going. So we can't actually kill Braum. So we're just gonna pass here. Alright, now we might be able to kill Braum. That was part of the reason we passed. Because they don't attack at all, that's also fine. I mean, Elixir would feel bad, but that's about it. We play around pretty much everything else, so 3 out of 6 on our Ezreal. Quite nice. And we're just gonna open attack with him. Honestly, this Gangplank isn't even that bad, but I would prefer the Mystic Shot bank mana into time tricks in the future. Oh, that works. Well, it's just a time trick. Another Braum. We're probably harpooning next turn, which is a little bit awkward because we're spending six on it, but it's a six mana deal six on a champion. Not terrible. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Nice. We take one extra damage, but it's not a big deal. Four out of six, one out of five. Ah, oh, Howling Abyss. Okay, it's a Howling Abyss stack, not a Star Spring deck. We just open attack here. Got nothing to lose, really. I will say, though, the Blistic Bot is really nice. For Ezreal. We don't have things that actually, like, buff our Ezreal. We do have, like, Mystic Shots and stuff, but this Poro isn't that scary. Maybe we end up playing, uh... Fizz is scary, though. What the heck? Alright. It is a Star Spring deck! I freaking knew it! I freaking knew it. The thing about this Fizz is they probably don't have ways of, uh... They probably don't have many ways of activating his elusive with only three cards. So that's good. And... Can you 
fine winder. I can discard one of these to do too. It's a, it's a good one. So I can discard this and deal two to two things. Answer to me. Just a prime deep. So let's do this first. Yeah. I think I'd rather just play that instead. to say though this seems better mm, the fizz is still I I think I'll just respect the fizz I should have just uh, moved this augment and taken one less damage, but that's alright. Because, I mean, this deck doesn't have that much reach. That doesn't really matter much. Alright, they did have a way to stop it, but um, this deck does have ways to deal with it, so it's like, eh. Or sorry, I was saying that this deck doesn't really have that much reach, so it's like... Not really worth respecting, I guess, is what I'm saying. Dot. And he won't level, so... Might as well go for this. We have ways of killing Leona, so that works. the likelihood they actually can slay something is. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. I guess I play the ballistic bot. So strange. Oh, I wish I had an Ezreal so bad. Okay, stones isn't bad. So freaking weird. It's the weakest, so it kills my 1 3. That's not good. I'm drawing Gangplank anyway. Deal six. Just a um, casual deal six. As I said, just a casual deal six. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I know you like that, Mr. GP. It's unfortunate that I can't level you. I mean, I can't with the parlay from the second GP. It is just strange. What a freaking weird game, but a great one. <laughs> freaking keck. Or I might just, you know, I mean, actually the parlay does it on its own. Or I might just draw some kind of, you know, card that kills them as well. Star shaping is still scary. Alright. I played the one on the right so they can't see this one. 
I low key want to kill that kindred though. I'm just going straight for the face. <laughs> low key wanted to go on the kindred though, but troll chant would ruin it. <laughs> that burn was ridiculous. That was a fun game though. A lot of fun games tonight.